we're going to have a quick look at how you can enter your sightings for the upcoming Big County Birdwatch 2023 that takes place across Essex from Friday the 5th of May through to Monday the 8th of May. The portal will be available on our website, ebws.org.uk, and it will be running until the end of next week, which will give people plenty of time to enter all of the sightings that you have over the weekend. But please only pop records onto this portal that you've had in Essex between Friday the 5th and Monday the 8th of May, because that will give us an accurate representation of what the Big County Birdwatch has found. So this is quite straightforward. From the first page, we're going to scroll down. And the first thing you're going to be doing is popping the location in where you've been bird watching. So I'm going to click in here. And as a lot of you know, my local patch is Ardley Reservoir. So I'm going to pop in Ardley Reservoir. Now, as you start typing, you notice that options come up. And if your site is on our recognized list of sites, then you can simply click and it makes it a bit easier. But if it's not, you can continue and add your own location onto the list. You're then going to put the date. So today's date is Thursday the 4th. I'm recording this the day before BCBW. Um, I'm going to get an early start, which might be a bit of cheating, but I'll make sure these get cleared later on. You can put your start time, which is nine o'clock in the morning. I'm going to pretend I was out this morning. And I birded Ardley for two hours. So there we go. Nine till eleven. What did I see? Right. So um, Ardley Reservoir is a fabulous site. So I had three Balearic Shearwaters, uh, four pectoral sandpipers, five Egyptian geese and a bittern. So that's quite a good haul at any site in Essex. Um, obviously, at the moment, I'm just messing around. So this doesn't matter what I put in. That's the first way that you can enter your sightings. You can simply scroll down the list. And all of the birds you're likely to see over the weekend are on this list, right the way through to the smaller birds, the um, tits and finches and, and pipits and stuff at the end of the list. If you want to make that process a little bit quicker and easier, there is a search box at the top of the page. Now, the search box will bring up the bird that you have seen and it will do so a bit more quickly. So, if, say, for example, I've seen a kestrel. I start typing kez. And it searches from the string. So you can see here six boxes come up because it could give me up to six options. Um, and kestrel is down the bottom left here. So I'm going to pop in here that I saw two kestrels. Now, this is the important part because a few people had issues last year with this particular part of the entry process. To enter another bird using the search box, you need to delete the text that you've entered into the search box initially. So I've clicked in the search box. You can tap on it if you're using a, a tablet or a phone. And then you should better just simply delete the letters that you've already entered and then choose something else. So I'm going to choose Dunnock. So D U W N, there we go. Dunnock is down there. And I'm going to pop three Dunnock in there. And again, even if this was my final entry, I'm still going to delete. So as we scroll down the page, we should see the three Dunnocks that have been entered into the sightings. There they are. And the two Kestrels, which are on the left just there. So that's everything I saw this morning. I'm going to continue on. But there are two options at the bottom here. You've got an option to enter additional sightings, which I'm going to tick. I'll show you how that works in a few moments. And there's a comments box. So if I saw something unusual or there was... Uh, a notable observation that I made, which I want to send back to the society, I can pop my comments in here. So, for example, I might put that a peregrine flushed everything at 10 a.m., even though I haven't entered it onto the, the, uh, the sightings, which obviously I would have done, but there we go. And I'm going to put a, a, a speedboat um, uh, disturbed waders at 10.30. Okay. Uh, you might not be putting too much in there, but anything that's uh, a genuinely either an interesting observation, maybe you saw some breeding behaviour, um, or something that caused disturbance could be worth noting in that box. And I've left this ticked, um, so let's go to the next page. So because I ticked that box, what the next page will show is a list of the birds that I've entered so far. But then it's got um, a list of blank options underneath. Now, this is fairly similar to our standard recording tab that we use. 
Um, and the idea here is that anything wasn't on that main list, I can enter onto this list. So for example, there's been a night heron in the south of the county fairly recently. So let's pretend that made its way through to Argy Reservoir, which you never know might happen. Um, so I'm going to enter one night heron into the sightings here. And that came through towards the end of my visit at 10.45. Okay. So down to the bottom. And simply click next. Now, the next page is the final page to enter your details. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go back a couple of pages and untick the additional species box just to show you how it would normally look. And then we'll go through this page in a second. Here we go. So right the way back, uh, hopefully the sightings are all still on, still on this first page. There we go. So right to the bottom, leave that unticked. I'm not going to put the comments in this time just for um, to save a bit of time. Click next. And then this is the standard page that you would see if you haven't added additional sightings. So most of the time, this is what you're going to see next. And it's a simple summary of everything that we've entered. So you've got the five Egyptian geese, three Balearic shearwaters and so on. At the top, you've got your name. You've got your address, postcode and email address. Now, you don't have to put in your address or postcode. The only boxes that need to be filled in to continue are your name and your email address, as you can see by the red asterisks that indicate that. So I'm going to put my name. And the important part is to use the same email address when you're inputting your sightings. And the reason for this is that the portal will add up everything you've seen over the Big County Birdwatch weekend. So you can keep a running total and see how you're, you can compare with all of the other people that have been taking part. So for this, I'm just going to put the standard um, email address for the society. And incidentally, if you've got any questions about any of this, you can ask the questions on this email address. I'll pick them up and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. That's info.ebws at gmail.com. Those are the only two bits I need to fill out. And I'm going to scroll down. Two options. I can either be included in feedback and notifications. So if there's anything that happens during the Big County Bird Watch we need to tell everybody about, I would be told if I've left that box ticked. Um, and if I want my sightings to be treated as anonymous so that no one else can see what I've seen, I can tick this box just here. But I'm not too bothered about that. I'm going to leave that unticked. Incidentally, if you leave it unticked, the status page at the end of the process will show your name and your email address. So if you do want to keep everything anonymous, you can tick this box. No one else will be able to see your details, but we will still get all your records, which is very important. So um, bear that in, please bear that in mind. Then we've got a question. So the question on this particular occasion is the county that the society is based in is, and of course it's Essex, and the reason we ask the question is just to check that you're a genuine person and you're not a, a bot um, that's taking part in in this to try and hack information from the from the website. So um, the, the answers to the questions are very, very simple, as you can see. And I think there's two or three different questions that pop up at random. That's it. So I'm now going to submit what I've seen this morning. There we go. It says thank you. And then I've got a status tab here. So if I click on this. It goes to a status page. Now, I have already popped in um, some previous entries because the entry I've just put in is going to be a pending review entry uh, for the simple reason being there's I've put some very unusual sightings on there for Argy Reservoir. Um, so you've got various buttons on here. You've got a button that tells you about the entire event um, with all the walks and bits and pieces. And there's also a garden bird sheet on here that you can click on to get a nice little sheet with all the common species you might see in your garden or local park and a little bit of fun information about each one. You've also got the main status page, which is the default page, which shows the total entry so far, the total pending review, the number of locations that have been uh, watched over the weekend and the total of species that have been seen so far. So this is all data I've just been messing around with the last day or two. Um, this will populate over the weekend and the numbers will go up and up and up. And down the bottom here, you've got 
a couple of graphs. So these are the number of observers that have seen between 0 and 19 species. And of course, at the moment, it's just me. And then you've got different categories. So as people start to see more and more birds over the weekend, these graphs will populate and the numbers will go higher and higher. On the right hand side, similar thing, but this is for locations. So this is the number of locations that have had between 0 to 19 birds, 20 and 39 birds, and so on and so on. So hopefully all these graphs will fill up with lots of really good numbers. You then got entries. And the entries will show uh, the name of the person that's entered, the number of species they've seen and the number of locations they've been watching from. You've got the locations themselves. So Abiton Reservoir and Ardi Reservoir. Um, and I've, I've recorded five from each on my, on my messing around over the last day. Then you've got a list of the species themselves. So these are the species that I've been popping in. Um, each one has been seen at one location and the number of sightings was one sighting. So that simply means that um, I've entered a sighting, for example, Night Heron. I popped one sighting in from, uh, I think I put Abiton for that one. So one sighting, one location. Then you've got a checklist and the checklist is a nice straightforward list of the birds that have been seen so far and who saw them and where they were seen. And this can be searched as well patch rankings so you've got two different patches here that which obviously I've been putting data into so Ardley and Abiton and I've entered five on each you can go back to the main enter sightings page which takes us right back to the beginning so if you've got more sightings to put into the uh, the county birdwatch portal you can do that from the status page and I think the final option was just a search button which you can search through the sightings if you want to by location observer and species. So hopefully that gives everyone a, a nice roundup um, of how to enter the sightings for the Big County Birdwatch 2023. Please take part. We've got loads of walks, free walks uh, right away across the county. There are 20 walks. They're all on the website. We've got a preview video that's on our YouTube channel. If you're watching that, don't forget to like it um, and maybe subscribe to our channel if you can. On our homepage, you can subscribe to our newsletter, which is just down the bottom here. You can pop your email address in here and we'll keep you informed of anything that's been happening either um, now or in the future with the society. We've got lots of things coming up. Um, we're planning some extra special events over the next couple of months or so, hopefully. So subscribe to the newsletter and you'll be kept informed on that. And that's it. I'm off. I'm going to get ready for tomorrow. I hope you guys can all join us or join in either with the free walks or if you can't attend any of the free walks, please do a bit of bird watching over the weekend and enter it on the Big County Birdwatch 2023 portal. I hope that helps. Any questions, send us an email. Thank you very much.